10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Welcome back, dear listeners, to another episode of A Voice in the Desert. I am your host, Caesar, and I am A Voice in the Desert. And today, we embark on a journey of exploration, seeking to understand the immense power that faith holds over fear. In a world consumed by uncertainty and anxiety, it is crucial to find solace and strength in faith. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the transformative topic of faith over fear. Fear, my friends, is a primal instinct that resides within all of us. It can grip our hearts, paralyze us, and limit our potential. But faith, faith has the ability to unravel the chains of fear, allowing us to soar unimaginable heights. So let's delve into the depths of this old age battle between faith and fear. To begin, let us turn to the Holy Scriptures where we find numerous references to the power of faith overcoming fear. For example, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, we read, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words remind us that God is always with us, offering his strength and support, even in the face of our deepest fears. Similarly, in the, na- in the New Testament, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 27, Jesus encourages his disciples, saying, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more of value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? These verses remind us of the futility of worry and the assurance that our heavenly Father cares for us, just as he cares for the birds of the air. The Bible is replete with verses that encourages us to have faith in God and to trust in his plan, even amidst the most challenging circumstances. In the book of Psalms, chapter 56, verse 3, we find the words, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. This is simple yet profound declaration reminds us that we have a choice in times of fear to rely on our own strength or to place our trust in the one who is greater than any fear we may face. But how do we cultivate this faith within us? How do we nurture it amidst the chaos and uncertainty Okay, and the uncertainty found in the Word of God. We must acknowledge our fears, understand their origins, and challenge the narratives they impose upon us. One of the most powerful weapons we have against fear is the practice of prayer. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, do not be anxious about anything. Okay, this is in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. The apostle Paul wrote this. Do not be anxious 
about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving and supplication, let your requests be made known to God. Through prayer, we can pour out our fears, our anxieties, and worries to God, allowing Him to replace them with peace and reassurance. Furthermore, the cultivation of faith requires immersing ourselves in the truth of God's Word. In the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, we read the Word of God. Okay? We meditate on the promises of God. The more our faith is strengthened, enabling us to face our fear and confidence and hope as we navigate uncertainties. Let us choose faith over fear. Let us not, okay, let us not go into trouble. Let us not faint. But as we navigate our life, let us choose faith over fear. Let us embrace the power that lies within us through our relationship with God and His Word. With faith, we can overcome any obstacle knowing that we are not alone and that our Heavenly Father is always by our side. Before we conclude, let us remember the words of Jesus in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. These words remind us that the peace of God surpasses all understanding and can calm even the stormiest of hearts. It is in this peace that we find the courage to face our fears head on and embrace a life of faith. As we wrap up this episode, let us reflect on our own lives. What fears holds us back from stepping into our purpose? How can we surrender those fears to God and allow faith to guide our steps? The journey of faith is not always easy but it is one that leads to growth, transformation, and a deepening relationship with our Creator. Throughout the Bible, we find stories of individuals who chose faith over fear. Noah trusted God's promise and built the ark despite of ridicule and doubt. Abraham believed God's promise of a son even in his old age. Moses stepped out in faith to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Despite his initial fears and doubts, these stories remind us that we too can overcome our fears by placing our trust in God. Place your trust in God, because God will never fail you. God will always defend you. He will always be there for you, no matter what. God will always be there. Who is faithful and able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine? As we navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life, let us remember the words of the Apostle Paul in this letter to the Corinthians. In 2 Corinthians 5, 7, he writes, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This verse encapsulates the essence of faith over fear. It is a call to trust in the unseen, 
to believe in the promises of God and to step out in obedience, even when we cannot see the outcome. So my friends, as we conclude the episode of A Voice in the Desert, let us choose faith over fear in every aspect of our lives. Let us surrender our fears to God, immerse ourselves in His Word, because when I'm going through these trials and tribulations, and when I am going through fear, I am always in the Word of God, seeking His promises to calm me down and to hold them as an anchor unto my life. And they avoid me from sinking and going away deep into the ocean. They hold me close by to the nearer the beach. God's word and walk confidently in his promises. Remember, dear listeners, faith is not a passive belief, but an active choice to trust, surrender, and pursue a life that is rooted in God's unfailing love. Before we part ways, let us take a moment to reflect on some practical ways we can cultivate faith over fear in our daily lives. Here are a few suggestions to consider. Firstly, let us prioritize our relationship with God. Set aside time each day for prayer, meditation, and studying His Word. This is of utmost importance. This intentional focus will strengthen our faith and even help us to trust in His plan even when fear tries to take hold. Secondly, let us surround ourselves with a community of believers who can support and encourage us on our faith of journey. Together, we can share our struggles, pray for one another, and remind each other of God's faithfulness. Thirdly, let us practice gratitude. Yes, gratitude. In the midst of fear and uncertainty, gratitude helps us shift our focus to the blessings and goodness of God by intentionally acknowledging and giving thanks for His provisions and faithfulness. We cultivate a heart of trust and faith. Furthermore, let us challenge our fears with truth. When fear arises, let us counter it with the promises of God found in His Word. Memorize scripture verses that speak to our specific fears and recite them when we feel that fear tries to overpower us. Lastly, let us step out in faith and take risks. Sometimes fear holds us back from pursuing our dreams and following God's calling on our lives. By stepping out in faith, we open ourselves to the incredible plans and opportunities that God has in store for us. As we incorporate these practices into our lives, let us remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 17, 20. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So my dear brethren, let us choose faith over fear. Each day, let us trust in God's unfailing love and power, knowing that with Him, all things are possible. May our faith be a beacon of hope, guiding us through the storms of life and illuminating the path towards a life filled with purpose, joy, and peace. Thank you for joining me on this episode of A Voice in the Desert. I hope that it has inspired you to embrace faith over fear and empowered you to live a life that is anchored in trust and hope. Until next time, may your faith be unwavering, your fears be conquered, and your journey be filled with the abundant blessing of God's grace. 
Until next time, my dear brethren, continue to have faith. Face your fears with courage and remember that you are not alone. Together we can create a world where faith triumphs over fear and where love and compassion guide our every step. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of faith over fear, where we have drawn inspiration from the timeless, timeless wisdom found in the Holy Scriptures. May this podcast have encouraged you to embrace faith as a transformative force, to confront your fears with courage, and to experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. Until next time, my dear brethren, continue to walk by faith knowing that God is with you every step of the way. May your journey be filled with hope, strength, and unwavering belief that faith has the power to conquer even the greatest fear. This has been Caesar, and I am a voice in the desert. God bless you all.